3D printers can make everything from plastic figurines to replacement car parts, but in the hands of some people, they are capable of downright miracles. Good Morning Colorado anchor Josh Helmuth brings us the story of a local outreach project that's absolutely Colorado. Tucked away in this Colorado Springs basement among the guitars and Native American artwork is a work of art. Print is making contact. Truly breaking the mold. So far so good, it's looking great. And a father who just wants to lend a hand. Love to help. This is where Dakota Welch runs Creation Station, a two-year-old nonprofit that makes 3D printed prosthetics for kids. We're digital humanitarians who just want to help. A literal philanthropic arms race. God's calling. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That even calls for help from his own kids. It's actually pretty cool. Heck yeah, it's cool. I mean, who knew you could create a functional limb out of your basement? 3D printing all around is uh, free. Just like a hot glue gun. You have filament going through the hot nozzle. Once the computer model sent to the 3D printer, a prosthetic can be made in a matter of hours. Assembly takes an extra day or two. All parents have to do is send a picture with a ruler showing the child's hand size to Creation Station. Prosthetics can be incredibly expensive. Um, most insurances won't be able to cover them. Which is why the Simmons family jumped at the chance to send in their picture all the way from Kansas City. I like the color, the shape, the size. Bridget is 11 years old. She's lived without her right hand since birth until now. I think it is amazing because I can grab things and do things I've never been able to do before. When she made the heart, she said, I've always wanted to make a heart. So that was, ooh, that was a little, um, that yeah. One, that one tugs at you a little bit. Yeah. A second hand most of us take for granted has been life-changing for Bridget. It actually has, like with all the things, drinking water and like making my bed and everything with it, I think it has changed. All thanks to Creation Station, who didn't charge her a dime. You can't, create, you can't really put a price tag on it, you know? I mean, this is giving her the opportunity to really try having a hand, you know? In fact, Welch's little humanitarian effort has helped not just Bridget, but nearly a dozen kids so far throughout the country. Until something else calls me over, but I think it's going to be a permanent uh, ministry. Creation Station is proof that you don't need to charge an arm or a leg to help someone. All you really need is heart. But I am so thankful and grateful for the organization. It opened up like a whole new world for me. Josh Helmuth, News Channel 13, Colorado Springs. Ah, oh, sending many hearts your way, Bridget. How cool is that? Welch says he also hopes to get into making assisted living devices. He's always looking for people to help. Kids, adults, veterans. Just go to creationstation3d.com to learn more. Absolutely Colorado is a partnership between KRDO and Gold Hill Mesa.